I've been looking for ways to remove uh, undercoating from my 66 Saab Monte Carlo 850. I recently did a video where I showed a needle scaler and a stringer bead wheel which worked pretty good. I said there that I didn't like the uh, air hammer and chisel because it messed up the metal pretty good. But turns out it's mostly my own cluelessness and lack of experience that was the problem. I've always operated these at like 90 plus PSI, but on sheet metal that gives you a real handful of bouncing chisel to work with. And I found out when I turned it down to 40 PSI it works pretty darn good. One other little modification I made, the, the sharp corners of the chisel were gouging the metal, so I just hit the corners with the grinder and polished it just a little bit so the sharp corners are gone and it doesn't gouge the metal. So, oops. We'll try it again and see if I get better results or similar results this time. Okay, I think you can see from that that this worked pretty good. You'll see little streaks here in the metal, or in the paint. That's just marking in the paint. There's no gouging in the metal whatsoever. I'm really happy with that. You saw how easy it came off. Every other method I've tried has been hard to get this off. This stuff sticks pretty good. But it separates from the paint very nicely with the air chisel. The only problem is, on a ridge like this, you can't really keep the chisel on there. It, wants, it rotates in the tool and it, it just runs off the side and you can't get the sides either. I'll use the, the uh, needle scaler or the uh, bead stringer wheel to, to clean those up. But this car has long flat runs on the underside and I'm going to get the bulk of the undercoating with the uh, air hammer and chisel. I think it will work out pretty great. So I hope this video is of benefit to somebody and thank you for watching.